Re-upload. Uh, deleted. Oh, wonderful. Potato Man. Edward carefully plotted the murder of his enemy. One winter's day, he strangled her in the bedroom, then faked a burglary. He ransacked the house, scattered possessions, broke through the patio doors. He set the burglar alarm downstairs before driving to the local golf course to establish his alibi. Two hours later, when Edward was in the middle of his golf game with three colleagues, the burglar alarm went off. The police were alerted. They found the house apparently broken into, and the woman strangled. It's Cullen. See? Looks a bit like him. Balding and old. No animals or electrical devices were found which could have set off the alarm, so it looked as though an intruder had set off the alarm before the poor woman Edward was never arrested or charged, but the police inspector long suspected Edward. But there was one question which he could not fathom. How did the suspect get the burglar alarm to go off so conveniently? He set it off how it was supposed to go off, <laughs> opened the door, opened a window, Whatever it's connected to. He was already in the house. Hiding under a bed. What? Okay, stop watch now. Let's read again. So we got to figure out how Edward Cullen got in the house. He's a vampire. He had the vampires get in houses. He was invited in. Yeah. Winter. It was winter. In the bedroom. Strang bedroom. Winter in the bedroom. Winter in the bedroom burglary. Stole everything. Scattered. Broke through the patio doors. Maybe that's why it went off. He broke through the patio doors. I see. So he had it set itself off while he wasn't there. Hmm, how did he do that? <coughs> how did the golf man do that? So she's already dead, apparently. Three colleagues. Oh, and what's next? No animals or electrical devices. Hmm. How do burglar alarms work? I don't know how they work. Oh, I do. They're connected to the door, I think, when you break it open. They open the door, they have to sit in a code. So how would he do it? Come on, you big-eared elf thing. How would you do it? He hit it with his golf ball. Yes, maybe. Two hours away. Swung his golf club, ball went flying, set off the alarm. It's on a timer. Let's see what the hint is. Hint me. Hint me. Hint me. A tray, some pans and water was on the floor. Why is that a hint? That's not a hint. You should have put that there. That's a clue, not a fucking hint. A tray. It's evidence. Bloody police evidence, shithead. There's a fucking hint. Should be in this section. No animals or electrical devices were found, which could have set the alarm. There was a tray, water, and all that shit there. That's where it should be, right here. It's not a fucking hint. It's a clue. Uh, or it is a hint, but it shouldn't be... Like a hidden hint, it should be out in the open. Help me figure it out. Tray, pan, water. A tray, some pans and water was on the floor. So 
So I used the water somehow to set it off. Um, the fucking thing should have went off anyway since he kicked in the patio doors. So he must have turned it off before he did all this. Turned it off, turned it back on, then somehow did it with the pans and shit, some water. He put it boiling, and it blew up, and set off the alarm, broke a window. Why do I care anyway? Ugh. Tell me. He placed the tray on the edge of the kitchen table. He put some pans on one side of the tray, ice cubes on the other side. When the ice eventually melted, the weight of the pans caused the tray to fall off the table. The pans bounced on the floor. The alarm was activated. To the police, the tray pans water looked to be part of the general disturbance in the kitchen. Yes, because if you drop pans on the floor, it's going to set off the alarm. Whereas kicking in a patio door ransacking the house, scattering shit everywhere, and so on, will not. Yep, that makes sense. Yep, getting worse. It's like asking, Susie had three apples one hand, none in the other, yet she had a total of six hands in her hands. How? All right, let's see. I'm not going to answer, I'm going to, I'm not looking at the answer. <laughs> if there is an, uh, no, no, no. These red are getting worse. Susie was born with something. I read that much, but I'm not reading the rest. Yeah, born with it inside her hand. <laughs> That's a. They're inside her hand, would be my answer. She was born with some apples inside her hand. <laughs> Little miniature apples. See, it even says in one hand. Susie had three apples in one hand, and none the other. She had a total of six apples in her hands. Yeah, that doesn't make sense either. No, never mind, I'm wrong. Winter, the doors, windows are the ice cubes will not melt. <laughs> it's winter and it's... <laughs> yeah, it's winter, the fucking, everything's open, the door's been kicked in. They won't melt. In other words, it's a stupid fucking shitty thing. Plus pans falling on the floor sets off the alarm. I was right, say golf ball. Retarded. Yeah, I didn't like that one. I don't think the pans falling on the floor would set off the alarm either. Plays golf in winter. <laughs> yeah. Golf ball in the house. Even if it was a guess, just keep it to yourself. Yeah. What? What's he say? Even if what? Uh, fuck off. Good job, spoiled for many people. Let's see. It's not really spoiling these people looking at the comments before solving it themselves.
Yep, that was a terrible one. But it's done now. A tray, some pans and water was on the floor. What a hint. Perfect. 